project for today is this cute little 1980s Sony Dream Machine. Oh, that is cute. It is cute. It actually is cute. And it's in the 80s color. Um, it's styled for the 80s. I've got to find that's a that's a real bedside icon. Yeah, it is. It is the first one. What have I done? Golf? I think I broke it. No, I didn't. One for it. Let's see how it works. You got, you got a battery in there, mate. Yeah, maybe. What it is, you see, Tony was trying to come up with. Let me get this wedge back in here. There we go. They're Sony coming was up. Looking for a value add. Sony had, the, by this time, had de designated the dream machine. Uh, oh. If you can see that. Yeah. And so their value add was it was such a nuisance for you to hold down these little buttons to set times and clocks and stuff. They came up with some dials. So for the alarm, you could dial an hour and a minute. Oh, geez. Doesn't that make a lot of sense? Doesn't that make sense? And that was their value add. There's a group of these. I've got two or three of them floating around here. Good the Lord, that's, that's almost revolutionary. It is. It's almost revolutionary. So you say, well, I want to get up at seven. <laughs> Old five. Bang. Done. How do we become so stupid? <laughs> I know. It's hideous. So the problem with this one, and I'm trying to bring it back to life, is the display seems half cut. Weak. Yes, half cut. So I'm going to rip the bottom out of it. Hey, but you notice how that display is not flickering like the other ones. Isn't that curious? It's, uh, a, so it's, a, it, it's a different frequency. Or it's a fluorescent, right? Yes, it's a fluorescent. All right. I'm going to open it up, see, and I'm going to see what's inside. See if there's any magic bits. Pardon me for the accent. I'm back. <laughs> We're just practicing our accents. Because mm. we've got a Sony radio here, and, and he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> a clue, Gav. Not a single clue. I, I told him to put the safety gloves on before he starts work. Yeah. But would he listen? No. <laughs> no. This goes right ahead. You want to watch those little springs, mate? They pop yeah. out. Crikey. I was watching them make uh, Sheffield knives last night by hand. 1946. Yeah. Is that a triple fold? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Sheffield and Man United. Oh, yeah. I remember looking at the Vickers Viscount when I was my year in penury, my, my year in, in limbo in Montreal working at the executive jet hangar. There was a Vickers Viscount that was owned by uh, one of the large um, uh, iron ore companies in Quebec. And I had an opportunity because the thing was a real hanger queen. It just sat there year in and year out. I crawled all over it looking at it. So help me God that that damn plane was built with rivets. It was not. Well, all, all planes are built with rivets. What are you talking about? I put, a, I, I took one of the screws to radio people like, that's fairly peculiar. Maybe the stories of the Viscount uh, were uh, too much for it. Sorry, what's happening? Oh, I, I tightened one of the screws to radio burp to life. Oh, well, you still got it plugged in? Oh, yeah, sure. Where's the fun in running with the thing unplugged? I don't know. I've noticed you, you enjoy this professionalism. Yeah. Transient professionalism. Anyway, the Vickers Viscount was a product of the post war aeronautical revolution in Britain. And it was so, help my God, you looked around the wheel wells and it was all bridge rivets. Incredibly overstructured. Oh, uh, more, more rivets than needed? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it was the first true turboprop airliner. In other words, it had a jet engine driving the propeller. And it was magnificent. It was so much fun to fly in one. It's the first plane I ever 
Got an airplane ride in. Loved it. Yeah, uh, my experience with that was that uh, is the VW engine, right? VW engine. Yeah, it was it was really the first excitement of my aeronautics experience was to. Um, I was I was I was in school to become an engineer, um, for for repairing airplanes. Yep. And uh, what inspired me to do it was was my dad took me out to an airport, and this guy showed up in a in a you know a single prop plane, which was a sm smaller than a car. You know, it was tiny. And there was only just enough room for one passenger. Right. And this thing was so small and, and it wasn't, it didn't look like a kit built. It looked like a real professional Spitfire reduced in size. Yes. Um, and it was superbly made. And anyway, he came in and he, and he, the only reason he came into the airport is because he had to open up the map and take a look. Oh yeah, where, where am I? Yeah. You're right here, next question. Yeah, so he said, oh, I was having trouble with my compass. <laughs> and, he, and he got out of his plane to read the map, and then he got back in and flew away. And he had a flat four. And it was, that was my beginning of the adventures. It's like, oh my God, you're allowed to do that? <laughs> <laughs> that actually looks like fun. Yeah, it was like a, it was like a dream come true for me. It was like, wow, you can, you can drive a plane like you can drive a car. Um, a flat four engine has been very successful for, for aeronautical use. Um, that's what uh, Subaru did after the war. Fuji Heavy Industries was uh, producing airplanes for using Subaru flat four engines. And they were Volkswagen flat engines. In fact, that's why Volkswagens to this, or sorry, Subarus to this day have flat four engines. Yeah, well, it's, it's an American flat four engine that they installed in everything. Absolutely. Well, this is this was the diversity of things going on, right? Just you got a good engine, you just use it. That's right. Direct it's, drive, direct direct drive. You know, it's just like then that's the RPM. To this day, people go looking for Subaru engines to put in their aircraft, their, their home. Engine. They're reliable. They're flat. They're compact, and they've got good power to weight ratios. The flat four is quite a quite an impressive looking unit. Yeah, yeah, I I totally agree, and I just uh, we've we've kind of lost the idea of this romance of of how easy it is to fly. Yeah. This is what we were up against, Doug. Look at this tragedy in the making. Wait, well, what's what's the problem there? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to start poking in a moment. All right. Because, you know, that's what you do, right? Yeah, well, keep us in touch because we don't want any poking going the wrong poke. No, of course not. I'm ruthless because I've got no idea what I'm doing today. <laughs> it's either this or derivatives of exponents. Well, I got my own little miracles here. Well, Look at this circuit. This is um, a capacitor. Yeah, this is the one that was on Facebook. Is this the power supply of that? That uh, yeah, supply, that it's very sophisticated. <laughs> what is the power? What is it for? <laughs> it's for the Christmas lights. Oh my goodness! So this is the AC to DC. There's a capacitor proper. It's got four diodes, and one capacitor. That's it. It's so right. you've got full AC on one side and supposedly some sort of DC on the other side. But this the is solid. Is, you got to remember this is solid state, right? Solid state. Yeah, it's solid. <laughs> it's, it's a single bit. If you shake it, nothing falls off. That's why it's solid. Uh, uh, you should test that theory. <laughs> just saying. So I'll tell you what the problem is. It's broken. It's broken. And why is it broken? Got a bad solder joint. Look, you're well, jumping ahead of the game here. I'm supposed to be telling this story. Yeah, you are, but you know what? You're out of focus. I <laughs> see your problem. I know. I don't see your problem because you're out of focus. Let me try this. There we go. There you go. So oh, you see it. Oh, you see it. 
I, I see, see it. it. Right. Well, it's not just one; it's two. Was you know? Was this? Can you see the wire? Thing? Can you see the wire wiggling? Yes, I can. <laughs> that's the that's the capacitor. Yeah. It's all gone weak, like. Yeah, I don't think it's very functional. Oh, is it out in the rain? It looks a little corroded. You think? Yeah, should I figure. <laughs> well, I'll, ju I'll just jimmy it, right? Absolutely. He ain't around. I, I would not feel safe putting 120 into that. Well, the amazing thing you do routinely every day and they have no idea how to these little details. That's the shock. It might just be 12 or it might be 24. We don't know. Because that, that's about 170 on the out, output. Well, I don't. I don't know if it's mains. It, it, it's. Mm. A, this is a four hundred volt. Well, if it's that, if it's if it's probably mains. If it's that much. Well, just tell them to put the GFI breaker in there. Idea. That's the trouble with cleaning up. I can't find anything. Yeah. Not recommended, Gun. No. No, well, you see people come in here and they go, my God, how do you work in this space? It's so full of stuff. And I go, well, I just do. And then I felt all guilty and I started cleaning up. Uh, you don't work. You, don't, you think you, you remember something you had 10 years ago. <laughs> I know this. I'm oh. looking for shit I had 20 years ago, where it was 20 years ago. A huge mistake. So, I used to do that to my old man too, right? I go and this bullshit. I, I go and clean his workshop. Fatal error. <laughs> it's like, how can you how can you do anything with all these rusty tools? There he is sitting in the corner silently weeping. Oh, I did that to my dad too. He wasn't, he wasn't as happy as I thought he would be. Okay, this soul is not biting. I may need some flux. Well, I fluxed it through and nothing really. It's grabbing, it's so dirty. Next trick, find a screwdriver. Ah uh, yes, 10 minutes of remaining meeting time. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, we'll just come back to the same link, okay? Yeah. It's a, it, I, these are the commercial breaks. <laughs> if you want a message from our sponsor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> if you time to grab a, a drink or a cup of tea and, and a cookie and then come back. <laughs> It's funny we don't have any trouble we when we do the calculus we're doing it off the big uvix site it's just unlimited it's actually quite handy jam i can't get this thing to go It's really that old. Well, all of a power supply. You know how things get so old, you just can't really do much at all? Yeah. 
I look in the mirror. It's that it's that syndrome where it just gets worse and worse. The more you try, the worse it gets. Yeah. So what it looks like is I thought I was looking at a circuit board, but the area around the connection is actually, there's nothing there. Right. It's all corroded away. Yeah. So now I got to bridge it. Yeah, you got to bridge, you got to scrape off the insulation on the surrounding pad and then you got to bridge it in. Yeah, so this is this is more work than, again that because there's nothing there. Yeah. So no matter how much solder I dump on there, I'm not going to get anything. Yep. This is the this is the problem I ran into before with the kettle. So no amount of, no amount of flux or anything will get that thing going. I'll just say what the flux. Yeah, what the flux? <laughs> I don't think it's going to go, Gov. I think it's bought the biscuit. Sounds good. Yeah. It's an Norwegian blue, you know. It's having a kip. That's a, just, just turn on the bows next to it. Yeah. Everybody will believe it. <laughs> well, the sound is certainly no great shakes in this thing. Um, now the radio's not coming on. What the? It's only made to wake you up. That's all. Get up, you lazy git. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Language, please. <laughs> time, gentlemen, time. It's, it's just the old ding dong, that's all. It's a Norwegian blue. He's just having a kip. Sorry. Who else? I do, I do this with Ariana. We lapse into this rather mid-Atlantic bullshit argot, and it runs for hours. And it, it'll even we won't lapse. Like when we have something important to talk about, we'll just continue on with our pseudo Cockney, pseudo Christchurch accent, and it's just it's sickening because <laughs> we just don't stop. I know. And you leave everybody else behind. Yeah, that's right. Where the hell are those from? I thought we didn't have any tourists this time of year. Maybe we're having one of those days. You're, you're doing as much damage as I'm doing. Yeah, but I'm doing it faster. <laughs> so you, you've you seen the old movies where people just hit their computer and it works again? Yeah. yeah. Well, it wasn't turning on me. It was making, and I just hit it and it turned on. Of course it did. So. The score is two to one. Don't invite us over. We'll take care of it very quickly. So, so what operating system are you running for that hitting? Um. Hmm. No, well, hitting it again doesn't work. I think uh, I think it's dead. No boot blocks. R Roblox. Run, run check disk from a. Uh, External drive. I can't do that if the OS won't load. Uh, that doesn't sound good. State of Florida, $3 bill, a genuine $3 bill. Where? Oh. Confederate State, Florida. I'm going to get a uh, screwdriver that'll. That'll fix it. Uh, date of Can I make cookies? Of course. Okay. Yeah. Where's ours? <laughs> you didn't hear that. <laughs> Good. <laughs> It's Sunday, come on, there's got to be stuff going on in the house. State of Florida, payment to fall due. 
Well, that sounds good. Uh, this is why I turn my sound off sometimes. Yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a house of animals. <laughs> this is literally a $3 bill from the state of Florida dated 18, January 1st, 1864, signed by the state's treasurer. He ripped you off. That's not cute. How about this? How about a Canadian dollar bill with an asterisk on it? With this beautiful picture of prayers on the back. Uh, I can't see. It's all blurry. I'll fix that. Yeah. Blurry. Beautiful picture of the prairies. Dated 1954. Just trying to help. You wouldn't know it. For some reason, I'm very short of tools today. I told you I'm doing the five foot thing here. You do a hundred mile diet, I'm doing a five foot reach. <laughs> 5,000 steps a day, right? Yeah. Or, or as far as my headphone extension cord will go. Yes. So Fred, we, we discovered the, are you there Fred? Here. Oh, okay. Yeah, we di we discovered the um, the onboard camera on the laptops is is runs through the USB port. Most of them do. I've had one or two which uh, on Macs which run through uh, uh, they're Thunderbolt. Just US, they're just USB cameras, basically mounted in the lid. Yeah. So we can we can take take any. Of those and put them in our own system. Right. This is an okay quality. It's like it's very slow though. Yeah. So the the voice to action or the sound. Just, I want I want to get this working hooked up to my computer, but right. I don't have uh, a tiny little connector that can. Oh, you so you got a you got a video out? Yeah, that's so audio the, video out. So then you have to find some interface that will work with the video out, like an old video card. Um, I don't know if those uh, those of course are output. I don't know if you can do input though. 